So APABEC is a, a now brand new source of um, mutation in cancer. So prior to a couple of years ago, uh, we knew that mutations were important in cancer and we just assumed that they were happening spontaneous events that were uncontrollable. Uh, but since then, we've learned that one enzyme, at least one enzyme called APABEC 3B in particular, is contributing a lot of these mutations to breast cancer. And so our current studies are directed toward addressing, is this, does this have any effect on the tumor? Are all of these mutations just happening with no real clinical effect, or are they contributing to ongoing tumor evolution and heterogeneity? And so what we've been able to do, um, it's a two-part study in collaboration with um, John Martin's uh, group in, at Erasmus in Holland. And the first part is a clinical study to ask if high levels of APABEC 3B in breast tumors correlate with poor outcomes. And so the answer is they do. Um, and then the second part of the study was asking, do they correlate with, uh, do high levels of APABEC 3B correlate uh, with resistance to therapy? And so we were able to address that by looking at essentially um, uh, a historical a retrospective data set from Holland where they'd procured these tumors um, at diagnosis essentially and then followed the patients uh, for some time and upon tumor recurrence they received tamoxifen monotherapy. And those whose original tumors had high levels of apobec 3B did much more poorly on the monotherapy than those who, whose tumors had low levels of apobec 3B, consistent with this enzyme being an ongoing source of mutation in those tumors. So then we, we wanted to do, in parallel to that, proof, essentially uh, uh, cause and effect experiments. So we want to ask if APABEC 3B is important for drug resistance in an animal model. Okay, the, the clinical data so far have been correlative. And so we were able to do that by taking a human breast cancer cell line that's estrogen um, dependent, so it's ER positive, and it forms uh, tumors in, in xenograft uh, mouse models. And essentially, then one can look at tumor formation um, in the presence and absence of APABEC 3B by systematically knocking it down with a short hairpin RNA. And so, uh, and, then, and then, of course, uh, break up the, the groups such that one can have tamoxifen treated and tamoxifen not treated. And so by following these different subgroups of this animal uh, xenograft cohort, we can ask if APABEC 3B is contributing to drug resistance in, in a, an animal model. And so consistent with the clinical data, um, so first let me describe the model. So in the absence of any treatment, these, these human cell lines grow into large tumor masses in the animals. When one treats with tamoxifen, um, just like many human ER-positive breast cancers um, that are treated with hormone therapies, uh, resistance happens or recurrence occurs. And so in these animal models, um, the same thing happens. Tumors become, res or the cells become resistant to tamoxifen and, and they grow into large tumor masses. In most of the animals, this happens. But if you knock down this one single gene that's producing this DNA mutating enzyme, APABEC 3B, you can prolong the tamoxifen therapy for almost the duration of the, the life of the animals. So we can make resistance happen much more slowly in, these animal, uh, in this animal model. So when you put the, the human clinical data together with the animal data, the xenograph data, what we're demonstrating is that this one source of mutation can be altered and that by altering that source of mutation, by stopping it or slowing it, we can alter the, the fate of the therapy. We can improve the therapy. So those are next steps. So to look at other tumors, um, you know, obviously one needs the right clinical data set. And um, so currently retrospective data sets are best because we can go back into the freezers and, and essentially retrospectively ask what were the levels of this enzyme in those primary tumors and then ask how did that correlate with outcome. So one should be doing that for other therapies and also other cancers. So APABEC 3B is not just breast cancer specific. It's a broad um, acting mutagen in many different human cancers. So APABEC 3B is a natural human enzyme that normally functions as part of an innate antiviral defense. So our bodies have um, a variety of, of antiviral mechanisms that are inbuilt or part of our innate immune response. And the APABEC enzymes, there's a large family of 11 of these enzymes form an overlapping innate immune defense. And that's in addition to our adaptive immune defenses. And so APABEC 3B is one of these antiviral enzymes that becomes dysregulated in tumors, upregulated. So in terms of other 
treatments and other tumors, those are all next steps. They need to be done.